welcome to the Redefine Podcast. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to talk about my process in thinking of content ideas. Content ideas. And I did an episode about this, like where to get endless ideas of content. And especially now in the age where, you know, AI is becoming more and more prevalent uh, in terms of uh, being used as a tool to generate, at the very least, ideas for content. Um, Some people are using it for their content, which I I don't necessarily agree with. However, um, you don't need it, right? Right? Like I'm, I'm not a techie. Um, it, you know, the reason why it took me so long to get into online marketing in the first place was because I'm intimidated by technology, right? I'm intimidated by all this stuff. So I'm going to be very slow to adopt AI for, you know, content ideas. And on top of that, I don't really need it. And I'm going to, I'm going to talk about a way that a process that you can use for yourself so that you won't need to rely on, you know, artificial means to generate ideas, right? Like uh, that, that to me, I think is a little crazy because we have one of the best, if not the best source of ideas, um, uh, at our disposal, <laughs> right? Right. Ideas exist that our brain, part of, part of the reason why our brains exist is to generate ideas. And it's just a matter of, of really using that muscle and, and, and exercising it so that, so that you can stay good at it. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, you're because here's the thing. It's a question I get a lot. Um, it's one of the most uh, one of the most asked questions that I get is like, how do I keep coming up with content um, if I'm supposed to post a piece of content at the very least once a day? Uh, it's it's simple. It's simple, and you have to again practice that muscle. And if you don't, you're not you're never going to get good at it, right? It's always going to be a slog, or it'll be slower to get to a point where you can just come up with ideas. So, so the 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 faster you thrust yourself and you throw yourself at the thing, um, the faster you'll get to a point where ideas won't be a problem. Um, for me. I mean, obviously, listening to shows, podcasts, um, you know, listening to my mentors, listening to things in the space. I'm not necessarily reading news and and opinion things. Like I, I, I consume a lot of of nonfiction and education type um, type content, right? From from audio books and books to uh, to podcasts, sometimes videos, um, and that's really all the source of my ideas. That's all. And and the process isn't so much that I'm taking ideas from. Uh, you know, from the individuals that I'm listening to, of course, I, you know, I reference them a lot and, and, and I, 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 I will never just flat out copy ideas, right? Don't do that. That's, that's not ethical. Um, but let your mentors and, and the, you know, the content that you consume inspire you and spark ideas. Now, that this means that you have to be an active listener, an active consumer, or an active viewer while while uh, while you're consuming this content. A lot of times, we consume content and we kind of we're tuned out. It's just a background noise, or or you know we're listening. We have an audiobook playing in the background, and and we're doing many other things, and our brains are on other things. You have to be fully engaged with that content in order for it to spark your ideas. And that's 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 really the most important part of this process. That it really uh, helps you. Engage engage and 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 continue to work and strengthen that that muscle right that creative muscle and and so in the process as i'm listening to the podcast i'm as i'm listening to the audiobooks what i do is if an idea pops in my head i'll pause i'll pause the show or i'll pause the book or i'll pause the video and i i go into my phone i have this one page of of like i don't know it, it like at this point it's just like i'm scrolling 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 right um but it's just you know Ideas. It's just ideas. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just ideas. Bullet points of ideas. Um, and generally, um, if you, if I don't, I don't know, I can't really show you here on the podcast, but if you look at it, um, that's where I get all my ideas. And even if I don't use them right away, I'll have this collection of thoughts and ideas um, that uh, that I can pull from. Uh, that I, I'll never run out. I'll never run out of, of, of ideas and, 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 and content for this show. I mean, this show is every day. There's an episode every day. You would think by now I would run out, uh, run out of ideas. Now, do, do I revisit uh, uh, topics and subject matter? Yeah, for sure, uh, with a different perspective. Do I allow and and ref, well, do I allow ideas from other content creators and reference them here on the show all the freaking time? You know, I, I reference Brendan Burchard all the time. I reference Jenna Kutcher. I reference the Biz Bros. You know what I mean? I love these guys. Uh, so so yeah, I reference them all the time. Um, and, but it's from my perspective because I have a list of ideas that that I can pull from um, that. I 
write down immediately when I'm inspired because I'm engaged, right? Because I'm engaged. It's all, it's that, it's that active engagement of the mind so that, um, uh, well, really, because I think people have a hard time coming up with ideas because we're too distracted and our attention spans are too low and there's very, very short focus, right? Short attention span equals short focus. So the more, the, what we're really working here, the part of our brains that we're really working is focus and, and intentionality, focus and intentionality. So when you're consuming content, um, when you're consuming education, be really focused on that education. And then, and then, you know, be willing to also, when you think of an idea, just jot it down, whether it's your phone, whether it's, you know, in, in a notebook, but just write down your ideas. And then before you know it, you know, after Oh, what we're six, seven months into this podcast, you're going to have a litany and a library of, of bullet points that have your ideas um, that you can pull from, right? That you can pull from. So you're never going to run out of ideas if you exercise the muscle of your creativity, if you, if you really exercise your muscle of focus and being engaged at all times, being in the moment, as opposed to being distracted and, and having a short attention span, and, attention span and not being focused, right? All right. I think that's the key. I think that's the really the, the key of, of never running out of, never running out of ideas, um, being focused, uh, being intentional, and and uh, really engaging your concentration and, and your creative mind. And yeah, yeah, and using the tools that you have to jot down your ideas when they come, right? When they come. So that's it. I know it seems simple, but like, how many people are actually doing this? right? How many people are actually doing this? So make sure to kind of, yeah, as you listen to some of this stuff, as you listen to the show, employ these things, right? Really actually do these things because it's not going to do you any good just knowing it. You got to put stuff into practice and, and you'll see that, yeah, well, yeah, there's actually a lot of usefulness in my content, right? All right. So I don't know. Hopefully that helps. That's at least my process. And I've been able to do, um, you know, as of this recording, 201 episodes every day, right? Every day for 201 days. Um, so something to be said about that works for me. I think chances are it'll work for you as well. So that's my message for today. More from me tomorrow. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.